Hey everyone, this is Matt from Scat to Tesla. I just picked up a used 2022 Tesla Model 3 long range. And you might be asking, what's the best charging solution for a long range, given you know typical or most um, common situations? And I'm gonna go show you, and I think you might be surprised. So in most videos, you know, you're gonna hear people talk about charging off their dryer outlet, the you know, the 220, 30 amp outlet, or you know, maybe the NEMA 1450. Um, cause that's about, you know, the best that you can do. But honestly, I think for most people, you might be able to get by with the simple 620. In most cases, I really think the 620 is adequate. So let's go check out the outlet and, uh, see what we can charge at. All right. So here is the NEMA 620 outlet, um, that I got installed yesterday. Um, it's nothing fancy. I wired it with uh, with 10 gauge wire just to be on the safe side, um, you know, especially with it being about 50 feet from the breaker box and also being outside. I uh, just wanted to play it uh, play it safe there. But so here's here's the outlet. There's my mobile charger. So I'm going to go charge this, or I'm going to plug this in. And the one thing I really like is I have this nice plastic cover to uh to shield it from you know rain and snow and the elements so uh let's go plug the tesla in and then see what we're charging at all right so we're here at the tesla let's open up the door put the charger in wait for the green light there we go so let's go into the car and check out what we're charging at. As you can see, we're charging now at 16 amps, which is 80% uh, of the uh, 220 uh, 20 amp circuit there. Um, so we got our 16 amps, and we're getting about 15 miles of range. Now, when I first um, did this yesterday, um, I was getting a little bit higher voltage and I was actually charging at about 16 miles of range. Um, so I really feel in most cases, um, this is going to be adequate for most people. So, you know, in a 12 hour period, you're looking at being able to charge, you know, about, uh, 180 miles. So as you can see there, I'm getting 15 or 16 miles of range, which I think is, which, which is great. Um, it's both an economical choice, um, you know, as well as an adequate choice, I think, for most people. So um, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Hope you learned a lot. And um, stay tuned to future videos. Um, I'm going to have a ton of videos on my whole Tesla buying experience um, and, you know, whether I think you should buy new versus used um, and just a lot of startup informational type information. You know, it took me six to eight months to educate myself um, to the point where I felt comfortable enough with, with buying a Tesla. So I want to help anyone and everyone with that journey if they so choose. So hope you liked the video. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys here soon. Thanks.